and manipulation and even seducing skills to skillfully twist the entire situation trying to make like the innocent person is the one who is attempting to control as always the Jezebel spirit will go through any measures to look like the one who is right Jezebel spirit always has to be right I told you that happened to me I exposed a false prophet multiple times they knew they was exposed all the people exposed them okay and they sent other people after them after the true watchman on the wall trying to make it look like the watchman on the wall was wrong that they're the ones controlling that they're the ones causing discord that they're the ones that have the Jezebel spirit when they're not when that true watchman on the wall is doing what the Lord Jesus Christ said in the word to warn the flock or the blood is on your hands the Jezebel spirit will sometimes disapprove even their subjects. I'm going to call them their subjects. I'm going to call this thing a cult, okay? They will disapprove of someone that's trying to disagree with them. Even that person that supports them, they will disapprove of them. So the controlled person will feel like they have no room to express their ideas, their opinion. Because they're, they fear of being disapproved by the Jezebel spirit. Especially the Jezebel spirit with a large following. There's Jezebel spirits on YouTube that have 1,000, 2,000 subscribers. And I sit here and wonder, how do they gain that many subscribers? And I don't care about subscribers. I mean, I care about people. I don't care about the numbers. But the only thing that pops in my head is that these people are dumb enough to believe the false doctrines and the false prophecies and the filth coming out of the Jezebel spirit's mouth. They are dumb enough that they can't even take two seconds. And forgive me for saying this, ladies and gentlemen, but it's, it's bold truth, raw truth in your face. That they can't take two seconds to ask Jesus Christ if this person is of the Lord. So they, they, they are afraid of disapproval, of being like a cast out from the other supporters of a Jezebel spirit. They would rather fear a Jezebel spirit than fear God. Well, God says in the word, fear the one. If you fall, fear the one that can destroy the soul, the mind, the spirit, the body in hell. It is fearful to fall into the hands of the most high God. Don't fear Jezebel spirit. Don't be scared of demons, ladies and gentlemen. Don't. Don't let the enemy triumph over you. A Jezebel spirit or any kind of demon for that matter. But you will know when a person is succumbed by Jezebel spirit. A supporter is like brainwashed, hypnotized. They can't think for themselves. They are always, always, always agreeing to the Jezebel spirit. And if they oppose the Jezebel spirit for even a second, a fraction, even something minor, all of their supporters of that Jezebel spirit is attacking that individual, and so is the Jezebel. And then that support of the Jezebel spirit who opposed the Jezebel spirit is the enemy of the Jezebel spirit. So the Jezebel spirit, on a drop of a dime, could turn her back on her own supporter, could betray her own supporter. Spirit of Judas Iscariot, amen? The way Jesus, Judas Iscariot, sorry, Father God, the way Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus Christ. Okay? Um, this type of characteristic um, manifests in marriage, working environment, even a church setting, YouTube. They, like I said, they have large followings, 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, even subscribers in the thousands, tens of thousands. Jezebel acts like they know it all. Um, they they believe that they have the knowledge of everything. Even like I said, even if you stare him, him or her in the face with with scriptural proof, they still believe that they are right and you're wrong. They are very opinionated, so they will ex express their opinion in any area, even if they don't know anything about that subject. Okay. Jezebel's spirit will leave little opportunity for anyone to point out the other side of the issue, to discuss other angles of the issue. Okay? The Jezebel wants to be idolized. They want their opinions and their knowledge, their false demonic knowledge, to be praised by man. Like I said, the spirit wants to gain the praise and glory of man. The Jezebel is very ambitious, very determined. They have a, they have a, they're very selfish. They have a desire for self. The ideology of Satanism is to ascend to godhood, 
a Jezebel spirit wants to be like God. You know what the Lord said? If there's only one God, he's a jealous God, that's Jesus Christ. If you try to exalt yourself above the most high, you'll be brought down low like what happened to Lucifer when he was cast out of heaven. Jezebel is always, I want what I want, what I want, when I want it. Okay? Um, their motive is do what thou wilt. To do what you want. Live in the flesh. They idolize and worship themselves. They want to be worshipped. Okay? A Jezebel spirit will never say, we accomplished this together. They will say, I did it. It's my vision. It's my idea. In terms of gift giving, a Jezebel will always do something to make you feel obligated to that Jezebel spirit. Like you owe that Jezebel spirit something. So if the Jezebel spirit gives you a gift, okay, they'll be like, and, and you need something done. You're asking the Jezebel spirit for something. Well, I gave you this. Like, for example, if a Jezebel spirit gives you um, $100 for, for, for a gift. And you're looking for money to be donated to charity. Well, I gave you $100. Why don't you use that for charity? Okay. Um, it, it makes you feel obligated when it gives you a gift. So, when Jezebel gives you a gift, it'll make it seem like... It's doing you a favor and it expects something in return. So essentially, it's not a gift. It's a false gift giving, if you will. What else? Um, the gift of giving, or the, the tact of, of giving a gift, it's a need. It's, it's used by those who have a need to feel in control. So like... If a Jezebel is giving you a gift, rest assured it's not out of their heart. They always have a hidden agenda, like I said before. It's for their benefit. It's for them to gain, for their personal gain. And it's for them that they will come up to you and expect something in return. That you are obligated to that individual. That you owe them a debt. You owe that Jezebel spirit a debt. A Jezebel spirit is their own woman or man. Because a Jezebel spirit can inflict both a man and a woman, not just a man alone. I wanted to clear that up and say that. I, I meant to say it in the first video, but I'm saying it now. So no one has any kind of input in a Jezebel spirit. None whatsoever. Okay? Um, a Jezebel spirit would associate with another individual unless it's to get that individual to cooperate with the agenda of the Jezebel spirit. So Jezebel spirit is always doing something that will only benefit him or her. That that will only, as long as there's something in it for him or her, Jezebel spirit will do it. A Jezebel spirit is in is in local churches. It's in YouTube. It's in um, it's infiltrated the churches. I've done videos on this. Okay, they don't take authority unless they're in a position of authority, but the Jezebel spirit will try to gain that authority by trying to gain followers in the church, supporters. So they will try to manipulate their, and work their way to the top, to that position of authority, because they like to be the center of attention. A Jezebel spirit, like any other demon, can lie dormant. Okay, the person may seem to behave normal for a period of time. Like a light switch. So a person can be gung-ho for the Lord, Jesus Christ, doing the will of the Lord. And then the next day, they want to do their will and not the will of the Lord. It's all about them and not about Jesus Christ. Okay? So that spirit, when a person's acting normal, that they want to do the will of the Lord, that spirit is dormant. When it's the opposite, the person wants to do their will, not the will of the Lord, that spirit is active. Okay? The person may seem normal for a period of time, exhibiting none of the classic traits of a Jezebel spirit. But then suddenly, without a moment's notice, without any warning, without any advance notice, a situation will come up. Okay? Once again, when that spirit will take control and will wreak havoc over many lives. Okay? Hopefully that soul will repent. Okay? It only comes in time because... A Jezebel spirit, I could tell you right now, will take more than one session.
Now, what I wanted to tell you is that a Jezebel spirit can be in homes, can be in marriages, can be in, like I said, in a church. Okay? It can be in um, many aspects of your life. All right? So, the Jezebel flare spirit flows without hindrance through many aspects of our society. It's in entertainment. It's in um, the banking industry, politics. Like I said, the United States has one. It flaunts itself in the world of fashion, many aspects. In the church setting, um, there are many people seeking God, okay, in the church. But that church can is succumb towards Jezebel spirit and then that person thus becomes seduced by that Jezebel spirit as well so anyone that is hit or impacted by this Jezebel spirit needs deliverance they need to repent deeply in their heart in their mind in their soul in their spirit okay and then go to battle against it and let the Lord use them in a mighty way to overcome the spirit Okay, um, the Jezebel likes to exert a lot of influence, okay? The Jezebel doesn't have any specific description as to who it targets. I told you that a sin, any sin can draw any type of spirit in especially Jezebel qualities okay so if you have ambition or if you're selfish or if you're self-righteous for example that is room and that's a door for a Jezebel spirit just like any disobedience to God any sin is an open door for a Jezebel spirit people say that this spirit prefers a woman well I'm here to tell you the spirit prefers a woman and a man okay so this spirit prefers the traits of a woman's nature, okay, and also a man. So although this woman, the spirit is, they say it's woman in nature, I believe a Jezebel spirit is not only female, it is male. Because it afflicts both men and women. And a Jezebel spirit has these characteristics that I mentioned to you that are demonstrated by women and men afflicted by the spirit on a daily basis like I said it will seek to maneuver itself into a leadership positions remember um, Je Jesus said that Jezebel calls herself a prophetess in Revelation chapter 2 verse 20 okay any woman or man can function prophetically they can claim to be anointed by God but they're not I'm not saying all women and men are like that I'm just saying that's why you have to test the spirits so Jezebel hates the true prophets of God she hates the word of God she hates Jesus Christ she hates to she or he hates to be exposed um, the Jezebel doesn't want her followers to come to repentance the Jezebel hates repentance okay the spirit infiltrates the, the church it masks its desires for control so it, it, it remains shy as is a uh, a false shyness, a false quietness, a false humbleness. Okay? And its desire is to manipulate and control the word of God, the true doctrine. It's to separate you from God. Jezebel hates humility. Okay? Jezebel taught when she, in the book of Kings, she taught that greatness in the kingdom was not measured in what we seem to be. It is, it is something that you attain through whatever means necessary. You want power, you go after it. That's her mentality. That's his mentality. Jezebel's mentality. Jezebel hates it when people pray to God. Intercessory prayer. Okay. Can take this spirit's claws off of the hearts and souls of men and women. Okay. The Lord Jesus Christ can set people free from this spirit. So when you pray, it binds this spirit. Okay. The Jezebel's ultimate hatred, like I said, is against God himself. She hates the grace God has. She hates what Jesus Christ did on the cross. 
Okay.